Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to review and swatch the Crayola Super Tip pens for you. As you can see I have the 50 pack and I got them off of Amazon and I will of course put the link down in the description box. As you can see I contain my pens downwards in this glass jar that I just got from my local craft store. I think the pen fits really nicely into this little glass jar and the reason why I'm storing them downwards is so that they can last longer and they won't dry out. As you can see they come in a variety of color and I really like the color scheme of this 50 pack. Unfortunately, I threw out the box that all of the Margis came in, but I did cut out this color scheme that were on the side of the box so that you can see all of the colors in one place and what Crayola wanted them to look like. When it comes to packaging, I really like how the super tip look. As you can see, they have a white base and the color of the individual pen will be marked at the top and at the bottom as you can see here. The Crayola Super Tip font is written with this silver metallic color and here you can see what the actual marker look like. These ones are very good for beginners to do fake calligraphy because they have this wide end and this very pointy tip. Okay, enough talking. Now let's move on to the real deal which of course is the swatches of these Crayola Super Tip 50 pack. I will do this way, as you can see here, do like a white line and then a thin line underneath so you can see how the different markers work and how thin and thick you can make the different lines. Alright guys, so there you have all of the swatches. Here you can see the full color scheme and on these close-ups you can also really see how opaque and pigmented these colors are. I think this 50 pack provides you with a very good range of color. You both have the brights, the darks and the pastels, so I really really like this 50 pack. To review these Crayola Super Tips we of course also have to look at the bleed through of these colors. So as you can see here, I'm just flipping over the page and doing some close-ups so you can see how much they bled through when I just did these swatches. The bleed through here, as you can see, is very minimal, but I just still wanted to put these pens to a test. So I did seven of these small dots and then for every single time I filled in the next dot with another layer so the first dot will only have one layer and the last dot will have seven layers of the same color on top of them and now let's see how much they bled through as you can see the one with seven layers have of course bled through the most but I will still say that these Crayola super tips are very good for bullet journaling and also drawing this test was not to make the Crayola Super Tips look bad at all. I really enjoyed these pens, but I just wanted to show you how the bleed through worked and how many times you can layer them in your different journals. So in the end, I can say that for the price of this 50 pack, I really like these Crayola Super Tips. I really like the color scheme and the quality of them. So that is it for this video, guys. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow me on my Instagram. I will see you next time. Bye guys!